Hello everyone. At BCU we're really excited to welcome in a new cohort of students for the coming year. Normally during the induction period we'd be able to organise some great experiences around Birmingham to really show you what our city is really about. But because of the global pandemic that's kind of put a dampener on the in-person induction. So this video gives you a bit of a virtual tour of things that you can do around Birmingham. In this session, I'll cover um, cultural experiences around Birmingham, things you can do in your leisure time, excellent places to go shopping, uh, food and drink, things you can do if you want to escape the city and go to the local countryside, and some great student discount ideas for getting the best use out of your student card and any other discount card that we recommend. So first let's talk about culture. Now the Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery is located at the end of the main shopping street in Birmingham. It's free to enter and they have some fantastic exhibits from local artists but also artists from all around the world. They also have some interesting um, exhibits. Um, they have an exhibit on um, Egyptian culture and they have some great fashion exhibits too. In addition to your traditional art displayed in the public gallery, um, we have public art out in the streets. So this is an example of one of the pieces of public art that we have, our famous Birmingham Bull situated outside the Boring. But if you want to find more public art around Birmingham, then have a quick Google and there are some really great walking routes around Birmingham where you can go with some friends on a sunny day and explore all of the great pieces of public art that Birmingham has to offer. If statues and sculptures aren't your thing, then maybe you'd like to visit Digbeth, famous for its graffiti walks. If you follow the link at the bottom of the screen, you can find a great walk around Digbeth where it will show you some of the really fantastic pieces by local artists and you'll also walk past some great bars and coffee shops if you wanted to stop for some refreshments. Once you've completed those walks, then you might be interested in the Birmingham Canal Walks. Now Birmingham's very famous for its intricate um, canal routes and they're a really lovely place to go walking with friends for a free day out. Now they culminate in the centre of Birmingham at Brindley Place and if you do have a little bit of extra cash then perhaps you could go out and have a meal there. It's a beautiful place to visit at night as it's lit up as you can see by some lovely lights and the way they reflect off the water is really very beautiful. Now speaking of fun places to visit at night, I'll finish this discussion of culture with the Birmingham Christmas markets. Now between November and December the German markets visit Birmingham and this is a fantastic place to go to walk around and see Birmingham lit up with beautiful lights and get yourself a nice hot chocolate or mulled wine and have a walk around Birmingham at night. If you find yourself with a little extra cash to splash, then maybe you'd like to visit one of these leisure places that I've chosen. Now, because Birmingham is such an interesting and diverse city, we have some great places to go and have a bit of an exciting afternoon. So let's start by talking about the escape rooms. I've chosen the escape hunt to show you, but there are multiple escape room places around Birmingham. The escape hunt, however, also offers virtual and online escape rooms if you didn't want to go into the city. Next, we have Ghetto Golf, which is a really fun indoor golfing experience. As you can see it's lit up by some incredible graffiti and this is situated in our graffiti capital of Digbeth. If gaming is more your thing then we have some indoor adult arcades. This is Kong's. Now Kong's has a wide variety of different arcading machines, uh, of different gaming machines. Um, they also have a bar, they offer food and music events as well. 
However, if you prefer bowling, Lane 7 offers similar leisure activities to Kongs, but instead of arcade games, we have indoor bowling. And finally, it wouldn't be a student things to do video without briefly mentioning the clubs in Birmingham. Now, as the UK's second largest city, there are loads of places to go in Birmingham. This is one of our um, local clubs uh, frequented by students and is called Prism. However, there are loads of different places depending on if you like rock music, uh, if you like R&B or if you just want to go out for a dance. It wouldn't be Birmingham unless we spoke about the ball ring. Now the ball ring is a big shopping centre right in the centre of Birmingham and as it's an indoor centre it's a great place to go uh, whatever the weather. It's also linked to Grand Central Station, um, so if you wanted to travel outside of Birmingham, you can nip to the shops before or after you've gone for a day out somewhere else. And it has some fantastic shops from um, a teddy bear factory to New Look, big shopping places like Debenhams and a Selfridges. Um, but also if you go through to Grand Central, there are some lovely little boutique -y shops as well. Next we have the world's famous Birmingham Indoor Rag Market. Now this is an indoor market for our budget uh, shoppers. You can find anything from clothes and shoes to spices for cooking. So that's a really fun place to visit as well. If uh, vintage shopping is more your thing, then head over to our graffiti capital Digbeth and find a cow. Now, Cow is our vintage shopping market that regularly does vintage kilo sales. So a kilogram of clothes for just £15. So you can get some fantastic bargains um, and know that they are pretty unique to you. And finally, discussing bargains, we have in Birmingham the world's biggest Primark. So Primark's flagship flagship store is right in the centre of Birmingham. It has, I think, five stories, um, including um, it, well, it has um, a barber's, a hairdresser's, a nail salon, um, multiple different cafes and um, t-shirt printing facilities as well. So it's really exciting Primark uh, if you're into your bargain shopping or if you're not, as I said before, head over to the ball ring and go to Selfridges for a bit more of a splurge. Being a city, we have so many food and drink options. So I've decided to show you just some of my favourites that I think make Birmingham a bit special. So we'll start with Digbeth Dining Club. Now this is an outdoor food market um, that has some incredible chefs where you can sample their food at just a fraction of the cost it would, uh, it would cost you to eat such high quality food elsewhere. Birmingham is also famous for its curries. Now, Birmingham is home to some of the most incredible um, curry houses in Europe and people travel to Birmingham to experience some of our fantastic um, chefs. So if a curry is something that you like on a Saturday night, then Birmingham certainly is the city for you. Alternatively, if you enjoy making your own food, um, but you're worried about the cost of fresh ingredients, then you needn't worry about that in Birmingham. Just behind the ball ring, we have the ball ring open market, where as you can see, they sell a wide variety of different fruits and vegetables, including fruits and vegetables that you might not find in the supermarkets, such as plantain, yucca, and a wide variety of different types of chilies. These punnets that you can see um, only cost a pound, so it's a lot cheaper than other places that you might buy fruit and veg, and you can fill up your fridge with such high quality nutrition for just a few quid. So Birmingham Bull Ring Open Market is a great place to go for a student budget. Now we can't talk about Birmingham food and drink without discussing student favorite Jekyll and Hyde. 
Jekyll and Hyde is a cocktail bar that has um, happy hours every day of the week. Now, in these happy hours, you can get buy one, get one free offers on a wide range of cocktails, including their famous sweetie cocktails. Now, Jekyll and Hyde is a really fun place to go. It is Alice in Wonderland themed, which you wouldn't really guess from the name of the bar. But it's only a few minutes walk away from campus. And here is a picture of outside. As you can see, it really does stand out. And it's a really fun place to go if you want to go somewhere that's a little bit more special than Weatherspoons. And finally, we have our on-site uh, pub, the Eagle and Ball. The Eagle and Ball is the pub that is associated with uh, BCUSU and it's actually attached to the Curzon building. Now they have a wide range of very affordable fruit, uh, food and drink options and they're open all through the day for you to grab something there for lunch or in the evening for to, uh, to grab a drink with your friends after a long day of lectures. Now, you might be thinking, well, yes, Birmingham sounds great, but what do I do if I want to get out of the city and go into the countryside? Well, around Birmingham, there are some great places that you can go to get back to nature. And I've selected a few of them um, that are quite easily um, accessible via public transport from Birmingham. The first is Chasewater. Now, this is a local reservoir that has a few different activities that you can do um, in the summer and all through the winter. So as you can see, this is um, the um, Swan Pond um, at Chasewater. But if you go during winter, you can also see the local deer and stags that naturally roam around Chasewater. They're there all the time and they really are very beautiful. So if you want to go for a quiet day just walking around Chase, you might be able to find some of the beautiful nature that Chase has to offer. If you're very into your sports, then perhaps you'd like to visit Pier 52. Pier 52 is the local wake park situated at Chase Water. So if you're into um, your extreme sports, then perhaps you'd like to try wakeboarding. Um, here we can see one of the staff members uh, flying through the air with some water splashing behind him. And here you can see uh, my husband actually um, doing a tail grab. Um, wakeboarding is a bit like skateboarding but on the water so it's a really fun and refreshing way to keep incredibly fit if you want to do some outdoor exercise but you're not so much a fan of being dragged along uh, on a cable then perhaps you'd like to visit chase water sailing club now chase water sailing club is on the opposite side of the lake to pier 52 and you can buy a yearly membership and visit the club whenever. The club also has an on-site pub. So after you've spent a day sailing and having some um, exciting exercise, then you can go get changed, get warm and have a few drinks at the club bar. Now, perhaps you want to get outside, but water sports really isn't your thing. Then you might want to visit Sutton Park. Sutton Park is the largest urban park in Europe. It's absolutely massive and it can take four to five hours to walk all the way around it. Sutton Park has some lovely lakes within the park and it has some lovely cafes as you walk around. So you can go there for a long walk in the morning, stop at one of the cafes for lunch um, or some drinks and then carry on walking around the rest of the park after you've had a lovely lunch. So Sutton Park really is a fantastic place to go with friends to spend a whole day outside enjoying nature. Similarly, you can visit Shire Oak. Shire Oak Nature Reserve is situated in Walsall Wood, which is a 40-ish minute bus journey direct from Birmingham. And if you wanted to spend the day walking around Shire Oak Nature Reserve, then that is again a great place to get some exercise. Mosley Bog doesn't sound fantastic, but is a really beautiful place to visit in Birmingham as well. And Mosley Bog is a little bit closer to, uh, to the campus, so it won't take as long to get there on public transport. And it's again a very beautiful place to visit if you want to have a walk in the fresh air. 
Now you might be thinking, well that's all well and good, but I'm on a student budget, so how am I going to be able to afford to do these things? Well, if you take advantage of student deals and you are thrifty with your purchases, then you'd be surprised at how much you can do. One of the ways that you can save money is by taking, advan taking advantage of student discounts. So your actual student card will often get you discounts in a lot of places that offer student discounts. Also, you can get an NUS card or totem card. Now, a totem card will give you extra discounts at the places that you already get student discounts, but also open up a whole new range of student discounts specific to NUS totem card holders. Now, you can get an NUS card from the Totem website. Another way to save money if you enjoy going out and eating with friends is by buying a taste card. Now, you can get a discount on a taste card by using your Totem card. So you can get a, um, a few months of free trial with a taste card or discounted trial with a taste card. But after that, the taste card costs about £50 a year. But if you do enjoy going out and eating um, in Birmingham, or if you think that's something that you might enjoy, then a taste card will actually have a big impact on your budget. Now, this is because a taste card, if you present it when you're paying for your food, will usually give you at least a 50% discount or two for one offers. So you can go away with a friend and have some lunch and only pay half of what it says on the menu. So this is again a great way to save money as a student. Also make sure that you take advantage of the six months available, um, six months available free on Amazon Prime. Now you'd be surprised at what offers you can find on Amazon if you don't already use it. Um, however the delivery charges do add up. So using Amazon Prime to get free uh, fast delivery will be a good way to save money as well. Another way to save money is to never buy anything until you have exhausted all options of getting a discount. And another way to try and do this is by looking on websites such as Money Saving Expert. So before you go and uh, buy a book online or book a meal, just go and check to see if Money Saving Expert has any deals that you can take advantage of. It doesn't necessarily um, give you discount codes, but it will tell you how to get discounts in a wide variety of places. And it also gives you great tips on saving money in general. Finally, a very lazy way to get deals, but something that I have on my computer, is a Google add-on deal finder. So this is completely free. All you do is download um, an app, so I use Honey. Uh, and you download this on your computer using Google Chrome and when you buy something online this app automatically runs when you click to purchase and runs any discount codes that it can find on the internet that's applicable to that purchase. Sometimes it goes through the whole internet and can't find a discount but other times you can have a um, hundred pounds worth of clothes in your checkout bag Click on Honey and it will find two for one offers, discount offers, student offers and apply those to your basket and suddenly you've saved £30 by doing nothing. So I really do recommend using Honey or another Google add-on to save yourself some money and hey, once you've saved yourself the money then perhaps you can use your taste card to go out for lunch with a friend. So. That's all folks. Of course, I've only covered a very, very tiny portion of things you can do in Birmingham. I've just given you some ideas, but there's so much more to do in Birmingham. So I really do hope you enjoy our city and we really look forward to seeing you when you arrive in September.